know, it's not just as simple as density equals mass over volume because they love to ask multi-step problems. So we're going to look at a few examples of some multi-step problems involving density. But first of all, if you don't know, density is equal to the mass of an object divided by the volume of that object. So I have a spot there at the top of the paper for you to write in that formula. Um, I, I was reminded when, or I was told by my high school teacher when I learned this, uh, to remember DMV, like the part of the motor vehicles where you go get your license, uh, DMV, density equals mass divided by volume. That's how we always remember. Now, we may need to manipulate that equation a little bit depending on what information we're given versus what we're asked for. So let's look at this first example. Um, a cylindrical piece of wood has a diameter of 2 feet and a height of 5 feet. The cylinder has a mass of 600 pounds. What is the density of the wood to the nearest pound per cubic foot? So <clears throat> let's start with uh, just writing down our formula, density equals mass divided by volume. The question is, what's the density? They give us the mass of 600. We need the volume. They don't give us the volume, but they give us all the pieces we need to find the volume. So it's a cylinder. So volume of the cylinder is the area of the base times the height. The area of the base is a circle, or the base is a circle. So the area is pi r squared h, and they tell us, I don't like this, but they tell us to use 3.14 for pi. Um, on the exam, please, please, please use the button on your calculator. Now, what's the radius? One. Okay, be careful. Two is the diameter. One is the radius. So really, we just have 3.14 times 5. I think the reason why they tell you to use 3.14 for pi is because it makes the numbers a little bit smaller and easier to deal with. You don't have to worry about all the rounding and stuff like that. So that's 15.7. So then we divide 600 divided by 15.7 gives us a density of, they said nearest pound, so density is 38 pounds per cubic foot. Now. Usually you don't have to worry so much about finding the units, but it's a good habit to be in to go ahead and, and write down the units when you don't have that multiple choice answer choice. And um, when it comes to density, the units don't cancel. Okay, you've got pounds or grams or something like that for the mass, and the volume is of course going to be in a linear measurement. So those aren't going to agree. You're just going to have to leave them in that form. All right, so let's look at the next example. It says block A and block B have the same mass, but the density of block A is twice the density of block B. Identify the possible missing dimensions of block, that should actually be A. Um, they gave us all the ones for B. There may be more than one combination of answers that work. So, Let's set this up. Now, instead of using D for density, since I'm dealing with two of them, I'm going to label them B and A. So let's find the density for B since we know the measurements for B. So the density for B is going to be equal to the mass. They didn't give us the mass. They just said that they have the same mass. So let's just leave that as M divided by the volume. Well, the volume would be, how do we find the volume of that block? Length times width times height, so 6 times 5 is 30, 30 times 12 is 360. Now, they tell us that the density of block A is twice the density of block B. So, when I set up my equation for the density of A, it has the same mass, so I'm going to use that same variable, m. I don't know my volume, but I do know that it's going to be 6 times the width times the height. Okay, so we've got a lot of unknowns here. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the key. It says, the density of block A is twice the density of block B. So for that big A right there, I'm going to plug in 2 times the density of block B. Uh, now, 
Now, what can we do when we have a fraction equal to another fraction? Cross multiply. Okay, cross multiply. So we have 2 times 6 is 12. MWH is equal to 360M. Well, we've got M on both sides. We can cancel that out because it's all multiplication. And then we divide by 12. So W times H is equal to 3. 30, not 3, 30. So that means our width times our height has to be 30. It says there may be more than one combination of answers that work. So out of our choices there, what can we use for the width and the height to give us 30? 5 and 6, is there another choice? 3 and 10. And you can put those in either block, just as long as you have the 5 and 6 paired together and the 3 and the 10 paired together. That's why I did them in different colors. Now, what I showed you was the, I guess what you would say, the exact mathematical way to solve this problem. Um, one thing that you can do if you, if, if all these variables are very overwhelming for you, and I understand if that's the case, since they're saying they have the same mass, but they don't specify what that mass is, you can pick a number for that mass. So say, for example, I don't know, you can pick 500 for the mass, and so then instead of the M right there, you would plug in 500, and A has the same mass, so you'd plug in 500. So then you would get an actual number for the density of B, so then right here, it would actually be two times that number in that point of the equation. It just reduces the number of variables that you have. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to, to look at. Okay? So if they tell you something like they have the same mass or they have the same volume, um, then, and they don't give you a number, just make one up. Just make sure that you use the same number for both of them. Okay? All right. So do another example. A certain type of metal has a density of five grams per cubic centimeter. A piece of this metal has a mass of two kilograms. What is the volume of this piece of metal to the nearest cubic centimeter? So same formula, density equals mass divided by volume. They give us a density of five grams they give us a mass of two kilograms, and they want to know what's the volume. Okay, what do we do to solve that? We multiply by V, and then we divide by 5. So the volume is 2 over 5. They want it to the nearest cubic centimeters. 2 over 5 is 0. 0.4. So they want us to round to 0. Good question. Your units have to agree. Your units have to agree. So, what, what I just did is not correct. Your units have to agree first. So, would we rather convert grams to kilograms or kilograms to grams? I would prefer to do kilograms to grams. Okay, how many kilograms or how many grams are in a kilogram? I think it's a thousand, isn't it? A kilo is a thousand. So two kilograms is two thousand grams. So to do it correctly, five is equal to two thousand divided by the volume. So the volume is equal to two thousand over five, which is four hundred cubic centimeters. Okay. So be very, very careful. Sometimes they like to throw those in there um, where they don't give you the, your units have to agree. If they give you density and mass, they must be in the same units. If they're not, you've got to convert. All right, last one I want to show you here. It says a carpenter has two types of wood in his workshop. He cuts a block of each type of wood 
The block of type A has a volume of 60 cubic feet and a mass of 300 kilograms. The block of type B has a volume of 100 cubic feet and a mass of 600 kilograms. This is a correct comparison of the densities of the wood. So let's, com uh, let's compute the densities for each one. Again, I'm going to use A and B instead of two Bs uh, so I don't get confused. So A is equal to its mass, 300, divided by its volume. Be careful that they gave you volume first. Make sure you don't put that on top because it was listed first. So that gives us a density of 5 for block A. For block B, the mass is 600. The volume is 100, so its density is 6. The higher the number for the density, the more dense it is, okay? There's nothing confusing about that relationship. It is what it is. If you get a bigger number for the density of B, B is more dense. So let's look at our options here. Wood of type B is less dense. Well, I know that one is automatically incorrect because B is more dense because 6 is greater than 5. The type, uh, wood of type B is more dense because the ratio of mass to volume is lower for type B. Well, yes, B is more dense, but that reason is not correct. That ratio is not lower. The ratio is greater. That's why it's more dense. So that one's not correct. Wood of type A is less dense because the ratio of mass to volume is lower. That makes sense. Let's check that last one just to make sure we haven't made a mistake. Wood of type A is more dense. Well, we know that's not right, right? Because it is definitely less dense. Okay? Make sense? Um, some of these problems, they will um, they'll give you various pieces. They'll give you dimensions. They may give you the straight out volume. You may need to use the formulas from the formula sheet that I gave you yesterday. So if you didn't get one, I have a few extra up here, so I don't know if everybody got one. Um, if you don't have one, make sure you have one to reference. Um, they may be asking you for several, several different things. Use the hints, okay? Use the hints. Uh, when first year was doing these problems, I saw several of this variety. But be careful, it didn't always say that the density of block A was twice the density of block B. They changed that relationship there. So make sure that you take into consideration what the actual relationship between the two densities is. Okay?